East China has spoken of its regret over selling his kidney to buy an iPhone 4 and a laptop. China Report has an exclusive interview with the boy and his family. To protect the 17-year-old boy's privacy, CNC uses Xiao Zheng as his anonym and mosaiced his face. Xiao Zheng is a senior one student in a local high school in Huaibei City of Central Anhui Province. He was desperate to get hands on an iPhone 4, which starts in price from almost 800 U.S. dollars in China. Apple's products are one of the most sought-after items by young people in China. In a cafe in Huaibei, Xiao Zheng and his mother told China Report the shocking story. His uncle brought him an iTouch from America. It's rare for students here to have an Apple product. He was very happy and took it with him every day. Sometimes he just locked himself in his room, playing with the gadget. His father worried that this may squeeze out his time for study, so he destroyed it. To his parents' shock, in a desperate bid to raise the cash to buy a new Apple product, Xiao Zheng was lured into selling one of his kidneys. He left home. Ah. The relationship between me and my parents is not so good because I don't like study. My father destroyed my eye touch and refused to buy new one. I was so angry that I left home. Xiao Zheng tried to earn money by doing odd jobs. However, he barely had enough to live by $150 per month, let alone buying an Apple product. I went to eastern Wuxi city and then Shanghai and Xinyang, Liaoning and Dalai in northeast, then Beijing and central Zhengzhou city, east Nanjing, central Chuzhou and south Chenzhou. Nobody knew where he was. His father and I were so worried about him. During this period, Xiao Zheng met a stranger on the internet. That man is in fact a black market organ trader. He lured Xiao Zheng to sell one of his kidneys, saying he can earn much money from it. At first, I didn't trust him, but he said that so just one kidney will cause no harm to my health. The trader asked Xiao Zheng to go to Zhengzhou, capital city of central Henan province. I bought a train ticket and went to Zhengzhou. There I met another organ trader, Xiao Fei, but he said he, I missed a scheduled surgery. Then I went to Chuzhou, Anhui province, and then I was brought to Chengzhou. In Chengzhou, Xiao Zheng met organ traders Lao He and Xiao Peng and another organ seller. They had their kidneys removed on April 28th at a hospital in Chengzhou. Both kidney receivers are from Malaysia. We met the two Malaysians one day before the surgery. Then we were asked to sign an agreement, which says I would like to sell my kidney on my own well. After the surgery, Xiao Zheng got 24,000 yuan or about 3,700 US dollars. The trader gave me $3,400 and the receiver gave me another $300. Another man got $3,100 from the trader and $2,100 from the receiver. Each doctor also got $3,100. With the money, Xiao Zheng couldn't wait to buy an iPhone 4 and a laptop. I bought an iPhone 4. It cost me more than $800. Then I spent another $620 for a laptop. When Xiao Zheng came home several days later, his mother called the police after learning what he had undergone. My son felt very weak after the surgery. When I sent him to hospital for examination, he fainted. Now Xiao Zheng feels very regret. I regret for what I have done. I was hurt. I feel very weak now. The desperate mother said it is a tragedy for her son and family, but she doesn't want to give up. My biggest wish is to help my son get out from this. I hope he can live a happy and healthy life in the future, but I don't know whether this dream will come true.